This is the new 2021 Chevy Tahoe. It is the best-selling full-size SUV in America, and I am taking it on a 1,000-mile California family vacation to see what makes it the best seller. In this video, I will show you all the features of this luxurious high country model. I will show you exactly what fuel economy I get after filling up at the pump. Overall, I spent about $300 on fuel for this epic road trip, and I would do it again. Oh yeah, I also tried to drive this new Tahoe through a tree. Let's get started. Well, now it's about that time where I need to fill up and I want to show you exactly how much fuel this new Tahoe uses because up here in Northern California the fuel costs are fairly high, very high. So let's see what this big 6.2 liter V8, let's see how thirsty it really is. And by the way, we already used up an entire fuel tank. Let me show you. So here it is. I got a low fuel uh, level warning, as you can see, running very close. And that's because yesterday was a long day, San Francisco to Blue Lake, California, and a couple more little roundabouts, 342 miles on a tank. And that's also going highway speeds and uh, with a full family, full, uh, full vehicle. So let me uh, fill up and see exactly how many gallons uh, we need. And this truck does require premium fuel. It's a big 6.2 liter V8. So this is kind of a bummer. It cut me off at $75 and 15 gallons, but I have like a 24 gallon tank. So I gotta swipe again. Okay, so here's my second fill up. 4.54 gallons so let me um, unplug and do the final calculation for you and together after two fill-ups that was a total of 20.3 gallons and when you take 342 miles and divide it by 20.3 gallons it's 16.8 is the verified calculation at the pump and this says 16.7, so this Tahoe is spot on. Beautiful, and yeah, for a big vehicle going fast on the highway, uh, you know, it's pretty good for a luxury SUV, V8 power. Of course, the brand new Tahoe starts at around, well, you can get a two-wheel drive model in the low $50,000 range, about 52, 53,000. But this truck right here with leather and every option, of course, four-wheel drive, for auto, for low, air suspension, heads up display, heated and ventilated seats, infotainment system and all that stuff. This one is at about 80,000 bucks. So this one is quite expensive. Let me show you a little bit about how we're fitting. Right here, of course, we have lots of different luggage. This one is equipped with captain chairs. Actually, on this long trip when I met uh, our friends, I really wished I had a bench seat here in the middle uh, to actually carry up to eight people. But these screens right here came in very, very uh, valuable because what happens, my kids um, can actually choose a destination and they can send it to me while I'm driving so I don't have to bother with voice recognition and anything like that. And also, you know, the whole family is involved in planning the trip, which is really cool. These seats do recline, as you can tell, so they're very comfortable. They have their own climate control settings and charging and all this stuff. And you can see it here after a week long vacation. So yeah, uh, we <laughs> got this truck a little bit dirty. Um, so that's what happens on a family vacation, right? Let me show you the cargo area right now, and then I can show you the fuel efficiency we got um, at the pump when I filled up. Now here in the back, you can see that the third row of seats is down. It is three across with three seat belts. 
But here we have a large suitcase, a couple of carry-on suitcases, a few backpacks, and still a ton of space left. Uh, could I put this luggage behind the third row? Yes, if I was uh, very um, mindful of that and played Tetris. But here, you know, there's four of us right now and we are just, you know, have plenty of space. So did I wish I had a Suburban on this trip? No, I never wished I had an extra cargo capacity. But if you do have a larger family and if you want to carry more stuff, yes, a Tahoe with extra cargo space would be helpful. So you saw what happened after about 340 miles. This is my total trip. 937 and a half miles so far 16.2 mpg and here is my nav system and let me show you how that works as well because this is my favorite feature once the nav system is enabled the zoom in and out buttons are very close to the driver and i really like that because sometimes i need to see what the road is doing uh, my daughter, who usually sits here on this trip, um, she can get nauseous sometimes and we're on Highway 1, but thankfully with this air suspension and how quiet this truck really is, um, it's actually been a more pleasant journey for her and she didn't mind. I asked her, do you want to take 101 or Highway 1, which is slower and tighter and more turns, and she said, that um, Highway 1 was a fine. Uh, yes, we've been using Apple CarPlay this entire trip, combining multiple phones into one. Um, this transmission shifting mechanism, I kind of got used to it, but I'm still not a huge, huge fan of the push buttons and pull buttons here. Although I have used the manual shifting as well on some really mountainous slow roads that we took in the Redwood Forest. Um, so this is okay, just not my favorite for this trip. Would I choose a 6.2 liter engine or a three liter turbo diesel straight six that they also offer? Well, I came to this conclusion. If I was to take or do more road trips or if that was the primary use of this vehicle is to go on highway trips and a little bit more further long distance I would definitely choose the diesel but if it's your only vehicle uh, kind of daily commuter and or um, just daily vehicle that you take in an occasional trip I think the 6.2 is just way more fun it has great sound great acceleration 420 horsepower here at sea level feels tremendous all the controls down here are wonderful very easy to use we were using the climate control systems of course and all the charging down here even a wireless charger that was all beautiful so this is one of the drive-through redwood trees as you can see it's hollow. Uh, those are my friends in their VW Atlas. They told me the Tahoe wouldn't fit. But this is the shrine drive through tree right here, 5,000 years old. So I'm going to try to guide them. All right, Ron, how was that? Am I out? <laughs> that was nerve wracking. <laughs> so even a compact crossover like the escape with the mirrors not folded barely fits all right guys uh, well I've never tried this uh, driving through a tree in any car uh, nonetheless uh, this Chevy Tahoe 2021 let me try it and let's see how what happens the answer is the new Tahoe just fits except for the mirrors even when folded the mirror doesn't really fit inside the tree but oh well we really tried check this out I'm on top of this log 
This is my front view camera. Let me reverse down it. Yeah, that helps a lot actually in tight maneuvers. So, how was this trip? I would say this was probably the vehicle to get and I can see why it's also the best seller for General Motors and Chevrolet in this segment. It has been a best seller because of its comfort, its size, uh, the suspension, especially this air suspension is wonderful. It has a slightly longer wheelbase now than before so the ride is very comfortable. Uh, at highway speeds, because it's so quiet, you can't really tell uh, you know the speed you're going you have to watch your speed limit, but it just makes the whole thing just pleasant It did not fit into a tree with the suspension all the way down I fit the roof fits But the mirrors are still even when folded do not fit through a tree unfortunately uh, Yes, it does cost a lot about eighty thousand dollars a little bit more than that is a high price for a Tahoe, but all these features made the vacation just that much more enjoyable with extra space, extra visibility, and extra comfort features. So a couple of negatives maybe, the fuel efficiency is a little low, especially when you consider that this V8 needs premium fuel and California prices are that high. And also the ultimate price of this uh, Tahoe of just over 80 grand is a little bit high but so much more positive, like I just told you. And as always, you can head back to tfltruck.com for real world reviews like this road trip family vacation review and much, much more.